Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So it is nice and early this morning. It's a lovely 5am and your boy is awake. I don't know if I'm jet lagged still or if this is just my life at this point. But it's currently 5am and I decided I'm gonna get up and start my day. Even though it's 5am, it's really fucking bright in here. Today's Sunday, I've been home less than a week actually. It's almost been a week, like in two days. It'll be a week since I've been back in the UK. However, I really don't feel like I'm over my jet lag. Like the other day, I had the worst like experience of jet lag ever in my life. And like, I'm so confused because last year, admittedly we didn't go for as long last year, but last year I literally were perfectly fine. I went back working at Urban first. The day after we landed, bitch, like, I don't know why I'm so like affected this time. Hold that thought. I don't know, it's annoying. Like, it's really annoying because the thing is, I'm falling asleep without knowing that I'm even going to sleep. Like, it's weird. So, I'm gonna set the scene. Not yesterday, Friday. I woke up at 7 a.m., watched the rest of Stranger Things. Loved that. Fun time. Went and made myself some lunch, and then I can't remember anything else apart from waking up at 5 p.m. and being like, damn, it's 5. But I thought it was 5 a.m. when I checked my phone until I rolled over and saw my lunch that I'd not eaten on the side and realized that I'd already been awake today. So that's fun. Anyway, let's move on from this. I'm actually heading back home today. I'm heading to Sheffield, and not until like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So we've got a good 12 hours until that happens. Um, but it's kind of sad because Freyman has arrived home today as I leave. So I won't actually get to see him because I'm going home. I'm actually so excited to see my mom and dad and obviously my dogs and my brother. My brother actually started working like full time, which is weird. I'm excited to see everyone. I can't wait to cuddle the doggos and obviously see like Megan and Ella and everyone, even though I've just spent like four weeks with Ella. But I miss the girls, so. <sighs> Anyway, right now I'm gonna watch Love Island, the like unseen bit because there's nothing else to watch. I've already watched everything in my subscription box. I'm gonna watch this and then I'm gonna actually start doing stuff. I need to edit some vlogs. I've still not edited any of the last footage. In the last vlog you will have seen from LA. So I kind of want to do that because I want to post it today actually. So yeah, I'm gonna watch this, have my breakfast and then do some editing, you know, because apparently that's all my life consists of these days. Look at that, the last of the LA vlogs is going up and it's only 8.32 a.m. I have done so much this morning. I feel like waking up at 5 a.m. is honestly the way forward. I can't say I'm gonna do it much, but I really, really have thoroughly done a lot of stuff this morning. I'm now gonna pack my bag because obviously, like I said earlier, I'm heading home today. I've just been on the phone to my mom. So I thought I would pack my bag and get everything sorted and then I need to sit and edit for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna make sure I've got everything done. Nice and early, all my bags are packed and stuff so then I can just literally sit on my laptop and get some editing done. But first, I need to pack my bag. Oh, I'm not even in shot. Oh! I can't go any lower. I feel like I've said this so much in this vlog already and we're probably like a minute in. I have got so much work done. It's literally, what time is it? It's literally 5 to 11. I've edited and uploaded a vlog. I've watched Love Island. I've watched two Love Islands. I've cashed up on all my YouTube like subscription box. I've replied to all my emails that I needed to reply to. I've edited a brand video. I've packed my bag ready to go home. I've had breakfast. I've had lunch. And now I'm just sat here and it's literally not even midday yet. Like this is the way forward. I really, really want to get into the habit of getting up early. I'm going to try and set my alarm every morning for seven o'clock so I'm awake and just like ready to start the day. I'm praying that this jet lag and how bad it's been has a good outcome and actually allows me to um, slip into a new sleep schedule but I'm really really happy. I'm in a good mood you know I can't wait to go home later on. I'm sort of just like trying to pass time so I'm just doing bits and bobs. I'm gonna cook a full chicken actually I'm gonna do that now. Like the cool blue light. I just went and made my lunch. This literally looks like the most unappetizing thing ever, but I've got a little salad with some cheese, chicken, tomatoes, and then a bunch of lettuce and stuff. Also got a little double deck out for dessert. I'm now just gonna sit, find something to watch on my laptop, and just enjoy my lunch. I actually do not know what to do in my life. Like, I'm just sat here, waiting for it to be three o'clock. It's currently half past one. Getting up early was fun while I had things to do, and now I'm just sat, and like, I don't know what to do in my life. I'm literally waiting for three o'clock so then I can leave to go to the station, and even that is early. In fact, I need to leave at half past three. Right, I was complaining about having nothing to do and I think I jinxed myself because I just went into the kitchen to start the dishwasher and um, <laughs> we have no dishwasher tablet. So for the past three days when I've been loading my stuff in there, thinking just before I go home, I'll set the dishwasher going so that everything's washed and cleaned for when Haz and Freya get back. And now we've got no dishwasher tablet. Ha <laughs> 
Oh, I think I jinxed myself. I actually don't mind washing up, but the thought of it being three day old things just gives me all types of Ebola. So in true Byron fashion, I am, I'm running late. Round of applause for me, being a dumb bitch yet again. Just putting my shoes on as we speak. I decided, you know what, I wanted to leave at half past. That gives me an hour exactly to get to the train station, get my shit together, find my platform, and get my little skinny self on the little skinny train. Now, <laughs> it emerges like 25 past, and I'm like, right, I'm ready to go. My bags are packed, everything's ready to rock and roll. All I need to do is put my shoes on, grab my bag, and hit the wall, and I'm out of this bitch. And then I decide to watch a YouTube video, which I forgot how long YouTube videos are. Now I'm late. I'm actually so annoyed because everything fits in my duffel bag. However, little on me decided to be a chef and cook chicken. So I literally have a bag with chicken in and my razor because I forgot to pack it in my wash bag. So imagine if like you had to go through security on a train like you do at an airport. I literally have a bag of cooked chicken and a razor in there. I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to need a jacket because I don't actually like currently have one on as you can see. But I don't know what the weather's been like because I've um, <laughs> not been outside since getting back from LA. So I'm currently just thinking in my head it's going to be LA weather. But um, it doesn't look like LA weather not gonna lie. All right, so I didn't actually mess up. It's nice and warm. It's not like boiling hot LA weather, but it's nice and warm. I'm kind of thankful I didn't bring a coat because I'm gonna be sweating. Whew. To Sheffield. I forgot my earphones. Hi. <laughs> I'm so jet like it's a joke. So the pros and cons of waking up at four is I've got so much done today, but like I'm so tired. I literally passed out on the train and it was the most uncomfortable train ride of my entire life. I realized I had no earphones. As soon as I sat down, I put my hand in my bag and was like, Oh, also when we went to LA, Ella left a bunch of stuff at my house and then um, I forgot to bring it So love that for me. Anyway, we're just in the queue for McDonald's so All I want right now is a McFlurry on my bed. So we're gonna get a McFlurry and then get my bed So, oh, I'm fucking tired. Good morning um, vlogmas day two. Is it hanging? My hair looks like actual shit, but we're just gonna ignore that I am gonna um, weigh myself this morning to start off the morning right, you know I'm really curious to see if why it in LA has made me gain weight or lose weight because it weren't actual food But then it also weren't great oh, I just shit my pants. I thought I'd lost like a lot of weight, but it's in kilograms not stone and I don't know how to read kilograms. I've stayed the same. Thought I was gonna gain weight. I feel like I've lost weight, but I actually haven't. But I wanted to gain weight. Anyway, good morning everyone. Welcome back to day two of this vlog. I didn't actually end the vlog yesterday or continue vlogging. I literally got home and passed the hell out. Like I actually got home, started watching Love Island with Ella, and then I literally woke up at the end of it to Ella saying, right, I'm going now. We'd watch Love Island and Love Island be on the side and I would just gone the entire time. So I didn't actually film anything because like I said, waking up at 5 a.m. yesterday just wasn't the motive you know right not right in front of my face not right in front of my salad oh bloody hell look how cute she is <laughs> you're a cutie pie i am currently putting on my jewelry because i am going to the supermarket Woo! You may be thinking, Byron, what's different about going to the supermarket this time? Like, why are you disclaiming where you're going? Now, the mode of transport to get us to the supermarket. Wait for it. Wait for it. The mode of transport that's going to get me and my mom, the birth giver of me, to the supermarket. That's right. We walk in. It's like 30 degrees outside, so that's the only real reason I'm going because I want a tan, even though I'm putting a shirt on, so that makes no sense, but whatever. I'm not putting a shirt on because it looks fucking stupid. Let's go! So my mom's just counting a drug dealing money. Um, Private? Right, so as you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt. My ASOS parcel literally just came. Um, I ordered this shirt, as you can see, very fun, very fresh. I really like this colour. I hate my posture, so like shirts just don't look that great on me. But I kind of like it, it's kind of fun. I'm trying to find something basically. Has is having a party on Friday for her birthday. I'm trying to find something to wear there, so I ordered this little shirt number. This is my normal waist size, so why on earth is it this big? Maybe it's a no on these, or maybe I'll try and make them work, who knows. The material that they are, they're not like a denim. Well, they are sort of a denim, but like a softer denim. And I actually like this like leather paper bag sort of trouser effect i don't know that was unintentional but i kind of like it we've done it lads we've made them work i think they're really cool i'm definitely going to cut the bottoms though so it's not like a straight edge we did it shopping with the girls <laughs> yeah. i'm just feeling really rich 
and they're getting the steaks. Rich, rich. I'm so embarrassed. Um, I just waved at the camera and a woman waved back at me. 